Temperature charts are present everywhere in the laboratory. We use them to track temperature for our reagents and often specimens that are stored in uh, the refrigerator uh, for processing or use later on. As part of uh, good lab practice and regulations, uh, a lab must keep track of this temperature and whenever it is out of the desired range, uh, the lab must ensure that a proper documented corrective action is done. In majority of the labs that I have seen, the temperature tracking, if done manually, is done on a log, which means temperature is recorded on one column, followed by the date on another column, and followed by the initials of the individual who made that observation. That works great for most of the time because uh, temperatures are usually within range. However, one of the commonest cap citation, if you see any inspection report, is uh, temperature being outside and no action being documented. And we used to have the same problem. It was a common citation for us. So what we did was we looked at this problem. If we could go to Mars and come back, I think we can take temperatures as a nation. So we interviewed folks who actually take temperature and are responsible for keeping and following up on the log. And it quickly turned out to us that that log was not very intuitive. It did not have mistake proofing elements. For example, the desired temperature was usually written at the top or the bottom. And often there was no clear direction on what to do if that uh, temperature was not within the desired range. So we did some brainstorming, we asked for ideas and our colleagues in microbiology suggested why don't we just follow the Levy Jennings approach. Um, as you know Levy Jennings charts uh, are everywhere in the lab. They basically track the performance of quality control and when if, whenever it is outside a certain range a certain action has to be done and it represents data over a period of a uh, few weeks. That was a fabulous idea. So we said, okay, the problem is the same. We have to track something over a long period of time and we have to document whenever it is out of range. So we came up with what you have on the screen. It is a color-coded temperature chart. It's a manual piece of paper. It's manual recording. So the desired range, 2 to 8 Celsius, is on the left side, if you see, that's the temperature scale, going from less than 2 Celsius all the way to more than 8 Celsius, and the desired range is in the middle. Uh, the desired range is in green color, and the undesired range is, is in red color. So if on first of month, the temperature was 5 Celsius, then you would click or check the box corresponding to it. And the bar, uh, and if it was out of range, let's say minus uh, 2 Celsius, then you would check the corresponding block box. Each time you do this, you will either write and uh, land in green or red circle. Um, we as a society know green means good, red means not good, right? So we color code it that way. So just as you are taking and recording the uh, temperature, you know whether the state is good or bad. The second problem folks told us about was they were not sure what to do if the temperature was outside. So they would record the temperature and hope that someone would figure it out. So there was a lack of direct connection often to the supervisor who would be the best person to take the corresponding action. Therefore, Someone suggested, let's actually write notify supervisor on the temperature chart. So not only is it a good documentation device, it is also a good determination device because it tells you whether you are good or not and it is also a good communication handover device because if you are in the red zone, it actually tells you go and notify your supervisor. And finally, if you see at the bottom, we actually have a table which says date, out of range temperature, and action taken, and initials. So if I was looking for root causes or trends, 
I have all the information on one page. I can find the temperature, I can find if it's in range or out of range, and I can find if it was out of range, what was done about it. Everything in one piece of paper. Once we implemented this in our practice, since then, to my knowledge, we did not have a, had any temperature documentation citations. And that has been a great uh, improvement in our compliance. And we really feel that our lab is more efficient and safer uh, because of putting in this very simple mistake-proofed uh, solution.